In this problem, we have a mast that is hung by two ropes, and we want to find the tension of each rope. One rope is at a 33.2 degree angle above the horizontal, this will be labeled as tension force A, and the other is parallel to the ground, and this will be labeled as tension force B. The mass is 1.37 kilograms, which equates to 13.44 newtons. So now, we will break this problem down into a free body diagram. We will use trigonometry, more specifically SOHCAHTOA, to break the tension force going at a 33.2 degree angle into vectors going into the x or right to left directions. So cosine of 33.2 degrees times the tension force equals the force in the x direction. Now we will once again use trigonometry to solve for the vector in the y or down to up direction. We get that the sine of 33.2 degrees times the tension force of A equals the force in the y direction. To solve this problem, we have to look at the free body diagram to form equations. We notice that due to no movement in the y direction, we have that the sine value of 33.2 degrees times the tension force A is canceling out the hanging mass force. So the sine value of 33.2 degrees times the force A minus 13.44 newtons must equal zero. In the x direction, we have that the cosine of 33.2 degrees times the tension force A minus the tension force B must equal zero due to no movement. Now we can start rearranging the formula. We will start with the y direction formula. We can add 13.44 newtons to each side to get the weight of the mass to the other side of the equation. For our next step, we can divide both sides of the equation by sine of 33.2 degrees. After plugging the equation into our calculator, we get a tension force of A of 24.55 newtons. Now we can start working on the x direction formula. We can start by moving force B to the other side of the equation by adding it to both sides. For the next step, we will plug in what we found force A to be equal to into the equation. So we plug in 24.55 newtons into the equation. Now we can plug this equation into our calculator. We get a tension force of B of 20.54 newtons. I did an experiment before I completed this calculation to keep myself honest. I end up with a force at B of 1.9 kilograms, which equals 18.639 newtons. This leaves us with an experimental error of 9.25%. I think that my method for keeping the line parallel might not have been good enough. I think if I had a second pair of eyes, this would have helped reduce the experimental error. Other possibilities are that the fixtures or line that I was using for reference was not perfectly level. That concludes this video. Hopefully I earned a like, share, or subscription. If you like this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Thank you for watching.